Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to make these uh, buttons update to according to whatever is here, so it's here for that should be here for as well. But right now it doesn't appear nothing. And that's because the way we coded uh, our stuff. So how can we access these buttons? Um, this is getting a bit complicated, but I'm going to try to explain to you. So in the start function of the shop handler, we created a button for each item in this array over here. But because we haven't saved that button, we just created it, but we don't know what that button is after that, after creating it. We can't access them, so I'm going to show you a way for us to keep the button, to know what the button is, so that we can change it later. So I'm going to make here a public, and I'm going to call it game objects. And it's going to be an array, and it, I'll call it button items, something like that. And before the for each loop, I'm going to give it a size. So button items equals new game object and with the size of the shop items. We want that to be as many button items as shop items. So to access the size of this item array, all we have to do is to put its name. So shop items dot length. And that's basically it. And with this done, we have now created six buttons. But they are not right now. They aren't anything. But right now, they aren't anything. And here, inside this for each loop, we're going to make that button be something. Okay. So now here, when we create the button instance, we want it, that button to be equal to this. And how can we do that? Well. But by simply doing something like button items and to access a certain element you have to give it an index this is uh, the way that arrays work so for example uh, 1 equals button something like that you see it's really simple but of course we don't want here to be 1 we want it to go from 0 to 2 just like this goes this is the element 0, this is the element 1, this is the element 2 and we want the the buttons array to work in the same way so I'm going to create I'm going to have to create here a counter so I'm going to name it int counter and the counter is 0 before the loop so counter equals 0 and for every time it iterates through the loop so this is the end of the loop in the end of the loop it adds 1 to the counter and now we can we can link the buttons correctly. So now each button item will will be equal to a button of a certain shop item. So and now if I hit play, uh, this actually won't be much clarifying. But we have here the button items, and if I click on them, it, it will show here. It will show here in the inspector whatever each button is. Meaning they are now linked and we can now change those buttons. To change them, I'm going to create here another function that will go through all the buttons and change change them according to what is in this array over here. So update item items. So it will update all items. This is a bit overkill because supposedly if you click on one button, you only want to upgrade one. But you know, it's not that bad. So what we want to do when we update items? Well, basically we want to attribute all of this stuff again to them. So uh, for starters, I'm going to copy all of this from the counter because the counter is important. From the counter to the end of the loop. Okay, copy it and put it in here. But that's not the only thing that we can do. Because if I did this, it would instantiate a new button every time. And that's not what you want, so delete this because we don't want to instantiate a new button. Delete also all of this stuff because we don't want to change the listener of the button, and we don't we also don't want to need to change the, the parent of the button, so you can delete this as well. 
what we want to do though is change the buttons change the what actually says in the buttons so let's make this good so as you may recall the SCP is what we called this script over here and of course we still want to access it and but we want to access the script of a certain button a button in the button items array so all we have to do is instead of putting here button we want to access the button items array and we want to access a certain number so remember the counter goes up and as the counter goes up we access different items of that array because that's how arrays work and this way for each item in the shop items the script or SCP will be a different script because you know it will be from a different button so if I save this oh just for just to show you I'm going to make this function execute here in the update function so it's always updating so update items like this save and now I'm going to actually stop and play again and now if I go here into the shop and if I want to change anything in this array over here for example change the, the gain for something else you can see that it automatically changes or if I put here 1999 it changes as well and that's basically what we want to happen but of course you don't want this to be updating every single frame we only want to update it in the when we purchase something. So after we purchase something, I'm going to paste. I'm going to execute the update items function. So save. And now only when I click to buy something, that something will update. As you can see, the cost is changing and the count is changing. And that's basically it. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, we're going to actually make the Bananas per, chan, bananas per second increase with this but because right now they are not increasing we're just buying items and increasing the count of the items so thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial